This is Carl Moore talking management for the Globe Mail. Today I'm delighted to speak to a colleague from Australia from the University of Queensland, Neil Ashkenazi. We've heard a lot about emotional quotient, which is the individual. Do organizations have emotions or emotional states as well? Yes, we know that now. Uh, the sociologists, especially uh, one sociologist, Joseph uh, de Rivera, has, uh, has, has demonstrated through their studies that uh, what he calls uh, you can palpably feel uh, the uh, emotional state in an organisation. And I'm sure everybody who's watching this, uh, this interview will, will agree with me that they've experienced it. You go into an organisation, don't know what it is, but somewhere or other this organisation is exciting. People seem to be walking around with a smile, they've got a bounce in their step. You go into another organisation and people are uh, downcast, etc. Um, thinking of an example, my wife and I visited uh, uh, what today is St. Petersburg was once uh, Leningrad in, uh, in Russia in 1975 during the Brezhnev years and uh, talk about uh, a, a negative place. Everybody was looking at their feet and walking around had long expressions on their face. So this spreads right throughout the, uh, the organisation, in this case a, a whole culture. We know that there's something called emotional contagion. Uh, we even know that inside our brains there are these things called mirror neurons. Uh, so that if somebody's in a happy state, our brain automatically goes into a happy state. Uh, so there's, there's, there's lots of reasons why a collective will actually pick up uh, positive and negative vibes from members of the organisation. And just as individuals can, can have ups and downs in their emotional states, organisations can too. Just as individuals can experience positive and negative at the same time, an organisation can too. An organisation that's approaching a major uh, target, for instance, will be a uh, very exciting place to be in, but also uh, it's going to be pretty uh, full on in terms of uh, people are not really laughing. They're, they're working flat out, but there's an excitement. So you can have these two going on at the same time. So if emotions can be across an organization, it strikes me that senior leaders should try to manage those emotional states. Is that something they should do? And if so, how do they do it? Okay, there's two ways to, uh, to manage states. Uh, one is to fake it. <laughs> Uh, it seems pretty obvious, but uh, you look at uh, shop assistants and any day they often engage in what's called emotional labour. And this is the work that they do to fake their emotions. Uh, you can do emotional labour by smiling like this, uh, or you can do it through like method acting. You can actually experience positive states, or you can be working in an organisation where you don't have to fake it at all, where there generally is the, is the positive. And this happens right through uh, organisations. Uh, my colleague Ron Humphrey uh, refers to this as leading with emotional labour. That it's, uh, it's possible for the, the leading uh, 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 managers in the organisation, the CEOs, etc., to, instead of faking emotions, to actually manage the organisation so there is actually real positive vibes. As soon as people start faking emotions, uh, people start picking up on that after a while and this can lead to... Uh, uh, perceptions of insincerity, perceptions of, um, of lack of trust, etc. So, uh, so these are the, some of the things that can happen. Uh, it's, it's a largely extent of, uh, of, of genuine, so some, sometimes called authentic management these days, that there's a genuine uh, transparency about the, um, about the process.